Hello, this is Master Room 347. This is an update. This is a serious talk about YouTube's future. I mentioned it in my last update about Sony's new rules a little bit. I'm mostly talking about uh, me having to change some of my settings to say that my content is more for adults. Uh, well, it's getting worse and worse. Because by this time next year, if something isn't done, or at least not what people are talking about it, a lot of channels with this could disappear, like, gone because of demonetization or channels that look like they're towards kids but for adults, but it's probably just the thumbnail or something, and it's clearly an adult video. But the point is, is that videos like that are going to be greatly affected. Yeah, and it really sucks. But basically, YouTube messed up with um, selling data to um, get retrieving data from children who are under 13 years old and give it to the advertisers so well, they just make more money. Yeah. Well, the FTC got wind of that and uh, all copper and all, and they got fined a lot of money. But unfortunately, YouTube has to double down now because not this is about settlement in terms of money. Also, they have to comply with these new rules and regulations um, by pretty much by 2020 in January. And that is making sure that their content is uh, making sure it's not inappropriate for children. Uh, and unfortunately, that involves a lot of YouTubers or content creators. And this is what damn sucks about it. See, the problem is there's a giant grey area between what is considered kid-friendly and what isn't. Because some of them may look kid-friendly, but they're not. Or or something, or vice versa. And it's just going to be a giant storm of confusion. And again, I don't make money off of YouTube, but this still affects me. In fact, it affects everyone that does on YouTube in general because their channels are going to be gone. What we're going to watch, basically, it's as simple as that. Even if you don't like watching me, or you know, because I'm and not obviously not as popular as other YouTubers, and I'm fine with that because I live for fun. But yeah, I can even even I could be affected because even though I did do my settings that I tell to adults, I do play kids' video games. I did the um, Spyro Reunited Trilogy. I played all three of those games. That's for children. That's for seven years and up, so... And so, yeah, that is technically, technically for towards children. So, that is pretty much like the grey area right there. Like, if if you um, play, if you do anything related to with children, even though your channel is here to adults, then technically would that be like breaking the new rules and regulations? It, it's that sort of confusion which is just stupid and, and, and dumbfounding. And the worst part is the people who even make these rules uh, aren't exactly savvy on the whole social networking thing or even YouTube. So yeah, they're a little behind the times because this FTC was established in 1998. That's when the internet was starting and it, well, times have kind of changed since then. <laughs> so yeah, that's the problem with laws like this. They are built to protect children, they are widely so because no one should be exploiting children just to get them to buy more stuff for advertisements, right? And YouTube should never have done that in the first place, <laughs> in, in, in that sense, because they really screwed up there, because for a while they were doing okay-ish. Yeah, we all, we all got to see how YouTube's new walls and stuff. And all that, but that was usually mostly to do with just them being lazy or incompetent. But this time they really screwed the pooch with this one, because yeah, one thing you gotta learn is that you don't you don't take advantage of kids, even if it was unintentional or just to make, or even if it's just to sell stuff or get data off them. I mean, remember the whole Facebook business? That was that would <laughs> yeah, that didn't turn out very well, did it? And try to, and the creator of Facebook tried to put it all under the rug. Well, it, it's similar to this, but even worse is it's towards children. <laughs> so, yeah. 
the selling of data, but it's just, it's more a case to making money as opposed to just selling it off to like other organizations or something. But it's still pretty bad. The whole point is just collecting data off of us, or in this case, children without a permission. But unfortunately, the rules of the FTC are not very good either because apparently, if you do want to collect, if you if you adult if the parents were okay of getting data from children, they have to sign a contract and then they have to make take that contract to the internet provider of that site. It, it, it's a stupid. I can't. Even, I think even in the in the in the nineties, <laughs> in the late nineties and two thousand or early two thousands, I'm pretty sure parents wouldn't or didn't do that. Why would they? It's just really stupid. But yeah. And I think that law still applies that if you want kids, if it's okay for science to extract data from children so they can get them to buy their stuff, they have to sign something. And it, it's really dumb. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, though, like I said, it's a giant gray area and and uh, basically we could all be really screwed the worst part is, is that you could actually be fined a ton of money per video and this could pretty much destroy not just channels but people's lives and no one is safe <laughs> yeah maybe not even me again i don't make money off of the videos but i do get adverts from them which youtube by the way they they make the money off of it or whatever, I don't make any money off of it. Usually because of copyright or something, but the adverts there so the, are there, are just there so but they can make money off of the video that I made, which I don't care because I don't make any money for the beginning with, but technically if that's the case, I might be affected, which would suck. Hmm. So yeah, I'm making this video now, pretty much a stance to tell you that if you don't see me in 2020, yeah, that's, Probably just FTC proper slash YouTube's fault. <laughs> yeah. So the best thing to try and do and hopefully is just to talk about it. I'm going to give a link in the description to um, Game Theory because I watched his entire video on it and he explains it much better than me. Really clearly. And he also mentioned it, and he has been in the description below for his video giving more greater detail. But the point is you got to talk about it. It's even like... Um, there's even a link in his video where you can actually comment to, to, to the FTC, basically, and to talk to them about, um, and, and give your opinions. Obviously, give informed opinions. Don't, don't just bash them and say, you guys are dumbasses and idiots. No, 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 no. No, you, you, no, no that's, that's not, that's not, this is going to make things worse. It's, it's like with, when you don't like someone that's lying, blaming the, on the internet. You don't send death threats or something for us. It's going to make him look like the victim. We don't want that. <laughs> so no, no, no. You've got to be constructive here. Like um, you got to think. You got to like. For instance, I haven't. I haven't done it yet, but I will. Where eventually after this video, I'll probably probably write something in the lines of where's where's where do you draw the lines to so for like how do you know between which video is kids friendly or not. But when it comes down to it, I think the real problem was that YouTube tried to, unfortunately, brutally advertise the FTC for ages, that their, ch that their channels were kid-friendly. Yeah, they literally advertised it for, like, ages. So the FTC had pretty much tons of ammunition to take them down with that, along with the whole stealing data thing. <laughs> But yeah, I don't think YouTube really should be a channel also for, for children, honestly. I mean, there are children's content there, but they did try to separate it. But unfortunately, there were um, people like weirdos and creeps seep through on both ends. Like um, there were some creeps who kept commenting on the, on the children's channel videos and stuff. We were nut jobs like sickos. And on the other end, I, well, technically on the other end, really, again, it's to do with um, looking like kids' videos, but really just talk more adult and all that. Oh, we need to do, me, because tech, 
I consider my channel to be um, adult because I do swear from time to time. Oh, sorry. I really do look like super light, but I feel like oh, I just want to get my head across this or my thoughts across. But yeah, it's it's pretty stressful because even though I don't upload that much now because I'm at college, obviously. When I do upload, I don't. This isn't that thing I want to think about right here. So the character I'm concentrating on my college work, and uploading is just a fun pastime. It's like the share of all the view, and that's that really. <laughs> the last thing we think about is think about. Oh no, is my channel going to be here by 2020? I mean, I have like over a thousand videos, I think. So yeah, I made you start thinking of. Oh God, what am I yawning? I made you start thinking of. Backing up my videos. I don't know how to do it on YouTube videos, but yeah, I hope I don't have to come up with that option because that's kind of scary. Because I'm pretty sure I want me to back them all up, even if I could, I don't know where I'll put them. <laughs> but yeah, the, the, the point is now is that people, especially those who, have, who have make a live on this day, are, are really are in jeopardy, and it is, it is a scary time. But the best way to fight against it is to talk about it. Just um, spread the word basically and, and try to just get the conversation going. It's the best thing we can do now at this point because, yeah, kind of YouTube messed up and the FTC is pretty much behind the times and, well, about children. <laughs> so it's fault on both ends, but at the same time, isn't just in the same time, you can understand from both their perspective because. At the end of the day, YouTube does need to make some money, obviously, through advertisements. They just weren't very clever about it, or they just weren't very clever and where to advertise specifically. And obviously, FCC is also in the wise the way, because, yeah, you do want to protect children from being taken advantage of from people who just want them for their money. Because, <laughs> yeah, because a child wouldn't understand anything about data protection or algorithms or getting their um and or getting their personal information some way or or their um, watching how it's used so that they can feel like they should buy this or that based on their viewing habits i mean the kids wouldn't understand that like, most probably some adults don't understand that <laughs> it's so confusing but uh yeah so because that is taking advantage of them technically so yeah but um Perhaps the problem was that they maybe they shouldn't have made it specifically for kids, unfortunately. I mean, there are some places that are specific for kids, but you've got to be really careful if you are making a channel for children, because you've got to have tons of regulations and stuff. I mean, this isn't Disney, and Disney isn't exactly the best example, but, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, that's all we want to talk about, really. Just, um, well, there's the future, what's going to happen? Hopefully nothing, yes, and praying maybe we might have a Christmas miracle, uh, or a holiday miracle, if you, if you don't celebrate Christmas. But, yeah, so if you don't see me after the holidays, or whatever, because or, I might start a playthrough or something at some point, because I might start some maybe in November or December, and the worst part is I don't, like, I might, maybe I might not complete it in time, or maybe do like after Christmas or something, and then I can't complete that Christmas because my channel's gone. <laughs> so uh, yeah, but that's my only conversation. So I don't really, I don't really want to think about as a where the hell is he <laughs> or, or something. Yeah, it's, it sucks because um, before um, because um, four years and years ago, I just upload the content on YouTube, we used to watch it on YouTube videos. I still watch them and stuff, but but uh, a lot more when I was younger because I really liked them. So my favorite content of people, people might be infected, like Omega Revolution. He does, um, he, he does content, he does all kinds of video games and stuff. And even he could be affected, which would suck because I like his content. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's all I really wanted to talk about. And just, again, spread the word and try to get the point across that, yeah, where do you like draw a line in the sand on this? And um, how do you like make sure that, um, 
make sure that how content creators can apply these rules because yeah it's just tons of gray areas and stuff and I heard that the fines can up to forty two thousand dollars per video that's crazy that's that is nuts I mean I really hope that's not the case because that is nuts oh I mean I really hope no one gets a fine like that Oh, even channels I don't like, or oh, God. even channels I, even channels I don't watch, or maybe some I don't like, don't deserve that fine because of this really rule, which again is in the grey area. I keep mentioning grey area because it's hard to tell typically what could be for kids and what isn't based on thumbnails or descriptions or people they're talking about. I just think that maybe. Yeah, you see more first now because how frustrating is this? But I think maybe um, all we gotta do is also try and like get our support to other channels a lot, um, all channels, not just the big ones, like smaller ones. Or this could also affect people who want to start on YouTube, actually do want to make money, and it's not just a hobby for them like me. I mean. With this now, why would they want to start YouTube? Because they figured, how the hell am I supposed to upload videos now? Or even start my channel when I don't even know how to go about making my content without getting a giant fine from the FTC. FTC. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a real, it's a real, um, cluster, cluck. <laughs> but, uh, with that, there's Mass Moon for Seven. We're basically a personal talk on this whole situation. And again, I will, I will link the description of um, MatPat Game Theory. He's the one video I showed. I did watch a few other videos as well. And they're good points. But I feel like Game Theory really like summarized it pretty well. We should watch the whole video as well. Again, he really explains it pretty well. And without him, I probably wouldn't make a video like this to give you a, a, a summary, <laughs> basically what's going on. Because of a much greater detail, but at the same time, this doesn't go over your head, it's it's pretty simple. <laughs> but yeah, um, I see you guys, maybe I might lose something, maybe not. But hopefully I at least want to still be uploading after Christmas. <laughs> so see you guys then.